Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. So if you guys want to know how to get this just natural glowy little makeup look, just keep on watching. Oh my god, I feel like I have not made a video in so long, which I haven't. I haven't posted since last year actually, so I'm back. I'm gonna be doing a everyday makeup tutorial. So first I'm gonna start off using the Laneige, a uh, Laneige, Laneige, the lip mask. And I like to use this before I'm gonna do my makeup because it keeps my lips moisturized the entire time. I already moisturized my face with the first aid. Um, moisturizing cream. The first thing that I like to do personally is curl my lashes. I know that might be like a weird step to start at but that's that's what I like to do first. So actually first I like comb them through. Once I've got them all brushed out I use this pink Tweezerman eyelash curler. This is like my favorite brand of eyelash curlers. It's the one that I've seen that works like the best. I literally try to get as close as I can to like the root because that's how you get a better curl, upward curl. Look at the difference. Curled versus non-curled. I don't know if you can tell the difference. I always blow on it because I like to get any like little stray eyelash hairs out of there because one time I curled my lash and there was an eyelash in here and it got in my eye. And I was traumatized ever since. So same thing for the other eye. I do this weird like eye rolly thing. I've been watching Alex Earl a lot and I see that she does the same thing and her lashes are literally like straight up. Cause she knows, she knows the trick. You gotta get to like the very root of your lash. So once I've got my lashes curled, next thing I like to do, sorry, you guys are in the way. I take my e.l.f. brow lift gel. This has got to be like my favorite brow lift gel. I used to use the Anastasia one and to be honest, I, I low key do still like it, but I just feel like this one is literally the same thing. I just take one of these spoolies, which is just any regular spoolie and I have it bent like this so that I can get like a better angle when I do my brows. And then this is what the gel looks like. It's literally just like brow gel, but it holds your eyebrows better than like regular gel. Like, you know, the gel that comes in like the tubes. This one holds it way better. I like the laminated look. I don't normally fill in my eyebrows because I feel like they're already thick as it is. But yeah, I just brush them, try to give them some shape. I try not to brush them too far up, like upwards, because I feel like I made that mistake a while ago of like brushing them upwards instead of the normal, normal direction that it goes. And I looked a hot mess. Like I would look back at those photos and I'm like, bruh, I really did my eyebrows like that. And nobody told me anything about it. So once I've got the brow how I want it, I'll take this end of the spoolie and I'll just like flatten it like this. Really all this does is just make sure that the hairs are in place and then I go over on top and I just brush the side like the and I try to make it look as natural as possible because I don't like, like the crazy laminated look. I feel like that that's a good brow. That looks like good-ish. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. First I'm just gonna shape it. I low-key miss vlogging but I feel like with school and stuff, it's pretty hard to vlog. Like trying to vlog while also keeping up with schoolwork and like, you know, I feel like being a student period is just hard. <laughs> and then I do the same thing. I just flatten it. And then I do the same thing to the side as well. I just go over the top like that. And then that just shapes it better. 
I've done a whole tutorial on my channel about how I do the laminated brow look or like soap brow look I think is what I titled it after I just take my finger and I just run it over like that so that I can just take any of the gel away. I feel like this one looks thinner than this one. It might have been just because I plucked my eyebrows today. I probably honestly <laughs> plucked them too small. I kind of do everything like out of order. I'm just weird like that. Next thing I like to do is bronzer. So when I feel like I want a little bit more color, I use this e.l.f. bronzer in the color Honey Drip. I believe yeah honey drip and it looks like that it's kind of gross because like my brush hairs fall out and go in it but like I don't know how to clean it without fucking up the product I also use this real techniques sculpting brush and I just go like on my temples I try to do it like really naturally hold up I actually forgot a step. So before I do that, if I have any blemishes or anything, I try to cover them up. Literally, like all my products are e.l.f. I just, I'm literally just noticing that, but I tried out the Hydro Grip Primer the other day and honestly, I wasn't really a fan of it. I feel like it kind of broke my face out actually. I was gonna try and use it in today's video underneath like my concealer that I apply, but I'm kind of scared because I feel like what if it was that and what if I do get another reaction? So I'm just gonna do it without primer. Honestly, it still lasts for me. This is the concealer that I use. I use the 16 hour camo concealer and the color that I have is medium golden. So I have a lot of little blemishes down here. And then I do have a lot of redness on my cheeks, like, I don't know, my face, like, I have a lot of redness. But I try not to cover it up too much because, I don't know, I kind of like the redness. Then I go in with this brush. I don't even know where I got this brush from. Honestly, I think I got it from that website, Timu, where everything's, like, insanely cheap. But I just like to go over the concealer and just, just like, buff it out. And it really, like, it's like so seamless, I don't know. I'm not a big foundation girl, but once I started doing this with this brush and this concealer, I feel like I just fell in love with how my skin looked afterwards. Even though my skin doesn't really need it, but I just like a little bit of coverage. It kind of like took the redness away without looking cakey, you know? I remember I used to apply so much foundation and my skin was literally clear like I don't know why I I just like went through that era where I just loved makeup and I don't know I just feel like it's good to go through stages where you're like testing things out I went through that foundation stage and now I just don't like using much foundation and I honestly I don't ever apply any under my eyes because it tends to crease really bad and I can never figure out why so I just leave it I'm gonna do a teeny tiny bit on my mustache area because I do have like some discoloration there I also go over my nose and sometimes I'll go over like my forehead area I do have like a pimple right here trying to come out. But that's pretty much all I do for like my base base, like concealer wise. Then I do bronzer. I kind of did it out of order today. I'm gonna take the Real Techniques sculpting brush and then the Honey Drip e.l.f. And since I already applied some on the other side, I'm just gonna do a little bit on this side. Oh my God, I think I went overboard on this side. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to blend that out. There's been times that I've applied too much bronzer and I just look crazy. I try to like build it up and not apply too much at once because I can just, you know, if I still feel like I need some color, I'll apply some more. And I've also been doing like nose contour lately, which mm, I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. Either I don't do it right or it's just like whatever. I've been doing it with this brush, so that's probably why this brush is way too big. So let's see. I have some smaller ones. Like I'm gonna try and use this one for like contour, nose contour. I don't wanna do too much though. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. See how this comes out. I think I saw like Daisy Marquez. She does nose contour. Her nose looks like a little button nose, which I love. 
I love the look of like little button noses and I saw her doing her nose contour and it actually like really emphasized it. I don't know if that really made a difference or not, but I like how it looks so far. Okay, so I think I'm done with bronzer. Next, I am gonna go in with blush. This is literally my favorite blush like of all time. I really, really like this blush so much. Like I've, I use it every single day, no matter if I don't wear makeup at all, I try to use this every single day. This is just the Merit Beverly Hills cheek color. As you can see, it's like literally flat. It's dead ass getting very flat. I just use my finger for this. I feel like there's nothing really that you can apply blush with like that. But yeah, I just tap it on my cheeks like this. And honestly, I love blush, so sometimes I go overboard, but I'm like, whatever, it looks cute, you know? I like to go like all the way up here to the edge of my cheek, and I do my apple, the apples of my cheek as well, and then it kind of looks like that. And then I'll just do the other side, same thing. Sometimes I'll do a little bit on my nose. I kind of like that sunburnt look. I remember one day I tried to like recreate it and then I finally got a look that kind of resembled it. I do a little bit of blush on my forehead as well because that's like when I get sunburnt, that's like where my forehead is red. All right, once that's done, I'll take the Dior blush, the one that's in the coral color. This is 004 Coral. And then I just take this angled brush, which I got from, I think I got it from Timu as well. But my, my blush looking a little weird. I don't know. But then I take the blush and I just tap it in my cheeks. And I go upwards, and I do the same thing on the other side. Normally I can't really tell how much blush I have on because when I tap my cheeks with the brush, it's it like makes my skin red, so I don't know if it's the blush or if it's just my skin. So that's why uh, sometimes I'll be going overboard on blush. I also got this new Too Faced blush, but this one's more of like a, I don't know, it's like a purpley pink now that I'm looking at it. I don't really like it to be honest, but... It's kind of like a baby doll pink, almost. I don't know, I just applied a little bit of it. After that, normally if I don't want to apply mascara, I'll stop here. If I want to do mascara, I'll go in with this one. This is the brown, blackish brown. It's the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Waterproof Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras, along with like the telescopic one, but I've been looking for a more natural one, so like a brown color. And for some reason, brands don't make brown waterproof mascara. Like, why doesn't that exist? normally it was so hard finding a brown mascara if i feel like i have to go back in with my eyelash curler i will i look you've been thinking about getting eyelash extensions again but i just don't want to deal with the same stuff that i went through the first time because it was not good so then i go in with mascara <laughs> And yes, I still use Grande Lash, just in case you're wondering, because I know I made a whole video about that and people are still commenting on that and I made that video like two years ago. And also my mascara video kind of went off. I feel like all my like makeup review products kind of like took off. So I might start doing those again. I really like reviewing makeup. Okay, there's one side done. I'm gonna do the other side. I feel like my right side comes out better than my left side most of the times because I am right-handed, so the brush is like, I think it's like easier because I can get my inner corner better. I'm so excited for the Rao Alejandro concert. It's in March and I actually still have to find pants to wear for that. I ordered some from Fashion Nova and they, let me tell you bro, they are too small and they're my size. Like, I don't know, I've never ordered from Fashion Nova, so I kind of expected it to not fit and I was just like, all right, I'm gonna have to look for different pants, different options. And then I was gonna order some off of Boohoo 
and I went online to see like how their sizing was. I found this page that's literally like reviews of just boohoo clothes and they were like literally the worst quality ever blah 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 and I was just like oh my god like I didn't know boohoo was <laughs> that bad. I'm gonna take a q-tip and just clean up any mess that I Made. Normally I don't get mascara on my lid, so most of the time I'm good on that. Oh, and then also, if I feel like my brows have like sparse areas, I'll go in with this NYX brow tint pen. This is the Lift, Lift and Snatch one. It's this NYX, and it's in the color Espresso. I just take it and I just make little strokes to like fill in the empty spots. Okay, I have a few over here. It's kind of hard because you don't want to go too dark. And then after that, I'm basically done. This is what I do every single day for my makeup. And I've been doing it for a while and I honestly really like how it comes out every single time. I was gonna do a hair tutorial, like what I use for my hair and stuff, but I think I'm gonna save that for a separate video, but this is basically it. After the lip mask, normally I'll apply like the Dior lip gloss. Oh, actually I bought this, um, the Tarte Maracuja Lip Juicy Lip, and it's in the color Rose. I really like this one. It smells like coconuts and it's just so pretty. It's literally so gorgeous. basically all that I do for my makeup. I don't like to do too much. But yeah, this is my completed makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know of any other video ideas you guys want to see me post. I want to start posting a lot more. I miss posting on here and I just low-key just left my channel. I low-key just like, I don't know, I just lost motivation and like creativity. I feel like everybody on YouTube kind of goes through that stage at one point and I feel like I kind of went through that stage during the holidays because you know you're like busy with family or whatever. I'm gonna start posting more. Hopefully I'm gonna have time because I do have an anatomy class, which if you guys know, anatomy literally sucks. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.